A 300 million fraud case involving two officials of Mitumba Women's Self-Help Group will be mentioned on February 3rd for further erections. Appearing before Milimani Principal Magistrate Gilbert Shikwe yesterday, the two suspects denied charges of obtaining the money by false pretenses. The case which was set for a pre-trial conference could not proceed because Senior Principal Magistrate Robinson Ondieki was not on duty. The investigating officer, Chief Inspector Eunice Njue, attached to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, the DCI, is leading other investigators' detail to carry out an in-depth probe into the fraud that involves over 300 million shillings. They were charged with defrauding investors over 162 million, 152,000 shillings under false pretenses of selling them houses at an estate they developed near Wilson Airport within Langata area in Nairobi. Dunge and Wanjiru denied defrauding Michael Karyuki Wanjui and his sister Salome Wanjiko 87 million 742,000 shillings, pretending they were in a position to sell them houses at the West Park Police Estate, Nairobi, between 2015 and 2022. Ndunge and Wanjiro face 15 other accounts of obtaining money through pretenses and forging a letter from the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection regarding the ownership of the estate by the women group. The police had informed the court that the first accused Ndunge uses phones registered using stolen national identity cards and has several cell phone lines and M-Pesa accounts fraudulently registered using identity cards belonging to other people. The two, Mary Ndunge Mutuku and Mary Wanjiku Ndungu, were released out of Langata remand prison after the former was the last one to secure her freedom on December 29th last year at Milimani Law Courts. During an earlier session, the court heard that Njue is yet to record statements from over 20 new complainants who have lodged complaints at Central Police Station. The two are accused of obtaining millions of shillings from Nairobi residents under the pretext of selling them houses. The matter will be mentioned on February 3rd. Stanley Lugaria, the informer, uncovering the truth.